Lawmakers and community members gathering at the Nebraska State Capitol in Lincoln this morning. That's where Governor Pete Ricketts provides the annual State of the State Address, looking both at the past and the future of Nebraska. Reporter Marlo Lundak has the details in our top story at 5. Good morning, and congratulations on the commencement of the second session of the 106th Nebraska Legislature. Governor Ricketts was welcomed warmly at Wednesday morning's State of the State Address. He opened by recognizing that the 2020 session will be shaped by the events of 2019, namely the flood crisis. As I have said before, I believe 2019 will be remembered as Nebraska's finest hour. Ricketts honored the law enforcement, emergency management, and citizens of Nebraska who offered help and support during the flooding. The family of James Wilkie, a Columbus farmer who died trying to help a stranded motorist, given a standing ovation for Wilkie's act of service. God called James home earlier than any of us expected. Despite flooding and other challenges posed against Nebraska's agriculture industry, Ricketts proudly announced the well-being of the state. I'm happy to report that the state of the state is strong, resilient, and growing. As expected, Ricketts talked on the state's main priorities for the upcoming year. Property tax relief, flood relief, veterans tax relief, and growing our people and businesses. These are the four ways we can keep Nebraska strong and growing in 2020. He's recommending drafting $500 million in property tax relief, nearly $60 million in flood relief, $16 million in scholarships, and $8 million for the Department of Corrections. I look forward to the days ahead. God bless you all, and God bless the great state of Nebraska. Thank you. Again, that's Marlo Lundak reporting. And if you would like to check out the governor's full speech, we have it for you. It's posted right now on our website. That's SulanProud.com. Just click on the Featured Content tab.